That's the picture nationwide, but it's a little different story here in Central Texas. KXAN's David Yeomans live in our first warning weather center. He has an in-depth look at the impact the drought is having close to home. David? Well, the heavy rains that we got here during springtime in Central Texas have helped keep our summer temperatures in this part of the country just a little bit lower than they were here last year. And that's kept the dreaded hot and dry pattern we saw all of last summer from setting up again this year. Last year, when we were still in the middle of a La Nina, the high pressure system set up over Texas and didn't want to move. But this year, uh, it kind of moved to where the dry ground was. And the drier ground was really across the Midwest and the plains and not so much Texas. The drought last year left a major dent in our lakes. Combined storage in Lake Travis and Lake Buchanan fell to its third lowest reading ever last winter, but has since been able to rebound a bit from spring rainfall. Lake levels have not been falling as rapidly this summer, partially due to the periodic rains we've enjoyed, but also because of a recent policy change LCRA made to their water release policy to help adapt to the drought. The LCRA made an agreement with rice growers downstream that if the water in the lakes remained below a certain storage capacity, the LCRA would not make water releases for agriculture downstream. With, uh, with this change in policy this year alone, uh, we have seen that Lake Travis, the decline on the level of Lake Travis has been somewhere around a half a foot to a foot per week. Last year at this time, the, the lake was declining about one to two feet per week. So it has had a, a significant difference. Overall, Texas is in much better shape right now than we were last summer at this time. Last August, over 78% of Texas was in the highest drought category on the scale, exceptional drought. As of last week, less than 1% of Texas is currently in an exceptional drought. And it does look like more relief is on the way. The El Nino conditions expected this winter usually bring wet weather to the state, and this year shouldn't be any exception. And we'll end up with above normal rainfall, which hopefully, hopefully will translate into more runoff into the lakes. Maybe our lakes will even fill over the winter months.